what's going on everyone welcome to texas on channel if you're new here definitely consider subscribing so today i got the floor mats for the civic and for the pilot um, these are the weatherproof waterproof um, basically real easy to clean floor mats they're rubber so if they ever get muddy or dirty we can just take them out rinse them off with the hose and we're good to go so i'm going to open this up um, but i want to show you the floor mats on the ef before we get started with that here are the floor mats. I really like the design. I like it. it has the EF on it. I'll leave a link in the description for these floor mats. They look really good in here. Um, someone did ask what I'm going to do with the seats. I'm eventually going to get some black with red stitch seats because these are just uh, stock Integra seats that were brown. I uh, spray paint dyed them with the vinyl paint. They don't look the best, but they work and they're comfy. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. So now we're going to unbox the rubberized floor mats and then we're going to put them in the pilot so let's get to it all right this box is pretty heavy kind of to be expected with some heavy duty floor mats these are actually made specifically for the pilot um, which I'll leave a link in the description for the floor mats in the Civic and these ones here for the Pilot. So this has all of them. I believe it has all three rows and the very back one, which I do pick up engines a lot in this Pilot. This is our daily uh, for the whole family. So this will be nice. That way I won't get the carpet all nasty. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. Cut these zip ties off here. Nice. So it's like diamond plate, but rubber. It's pretty cool. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and let these uh, basically just flatten out. So I'm going to let them sit in the sun for a minute, and then we'll go ahead and put all these in the pilot. Okay, so the sun isn't even in my yard. It's way out there in the street. So I decided to just hit these with the propane torch just to kind of heat them up. Um, I didn't hit direct heat on them. I just let them get warm. Um, can't find my freaking heat gun or I'd have just used that but they laid out pretty good so now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them in okay so I already have rubber floor mats up front but I'm gonna go ahead and remove them these ones are for like a Ford F-150 or something got them from Walmart they were on clearance so I was like heck yeah but since I want them all to match I'm gonna go ahead and remove these ones and we're gonna put these ones in Okay, so this one back here doesn't quite fit, but since I want them all to match, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim it out, just like this factory one, just with some scissors. So I'll go ahead and do that.
Okay, so back here, we could trim it right here. We don't have to. I could just roll this up for whenever I need it, but it definitely fits all the way through, and I can still fold the seats up uh, if I roll this up. So definitely fits pretty good back here. Okay, so here's the third row. Not the prettiest cuts, but you know, it fits. We got back here. It's gonna make cleaning so much easier with these kids. And we've got the front. Fit real nice. And here's the back. Not bad at all. So yeah, these are the ones that were in there. And these floor mats are still really good, so yeah, these ones are like permanently stained. I've tried everything to get the stains out, but you know, having kids spilling fruit drinks and whatnot kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, this is how much excess I cut off. I could have very easily kept these rear ones right here in the pilot, but I decided if I have them all rubber, it's going to be a lot easier to keep it clean. Just take them out, rinse them off, let them dry and put it back in. But uh, yeah, definitely making some progress. I'm gonna show you how much I had to cut off of the pilot to get it to stop rubbing. As you can see here, uh, this part here had to be cut because whenever I'd reverse and turn, it would like grab the bumper and shake it. Um, I also had to cut some of my mud flap out because it was touching there. Uh, but now it doesn't rub at all, it's perfect. But uh, this will be getting a lift. I actually found one. I'll put the price on screen. This is for the full complete kit. I was gonna get this one. Um, I, I don't have the money for it right now, but I was gonna get that one. And then I found that if I bought this kit, it was cheaper to buy just this kit, but it's missing the rear camber arms. So I found the rear camber arms by themselves. And so with the rear camber arms, it's technically cheaper to do it as two separate orders. So I think that's what I'm gonna do to save myself some money. And it'll be a two and a half inch lift, which will get that saggy butt lifted up. So it's definitely gonna look a lot better uh, once I get it lifted, but this thing's already looking freaking awesome. I just love how it's turning out. But uh, yeah, one step closer to how we want this. I will eventually be redoing the white. Um, this is Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. It's lasted over two years, didn't ever chip off, but then I put the Rust-Oleum turbo paint over the top and it's starting to chip off because this is just the spray paint on top of bed liner. It works, but it doesn't hold up very well. So this whole thing will be getting sanded down in white Raptor line, just like the Civic. This stuff is super durable uh, versus Rust-Oleum Turbo Paint over bed liner. So this will get all white Raptor line eventually. That's not on my right now to-do list, but it will happen eventually. So definitely making some progress. Can't wait to get the supercharger put on. Um, I found an adapter plate, 550 bucks, through uh, Prank. I believe it's Prank, Prank Racing or something. Um, it also comes with an adapter plate, so I can put the adapter plate here and then use the stock Pilot throttle body and have all those sensors and everything. I just have to figure out the routing for the uh, uh, supercharger belt because most of the kits that I find come with a power steering delete, and I do not want to delete the power steering on this. The Pilot is not exactly a light vehicle. See, if it was the Civic, I don't care because it's super light and easy, but the Pilot, I can't I can't delete the power steering on that. So I will have to figure that out, and then we'll have to work on some kind of a fuel management system or something. But that will be going on, and someone actually mentioned how it wouldn't be reliable. That is not true. I had a GTP. It was supercharged with this exact same supercharger because that's what this comes off of is the GTP or the Buick Supercharge. My GTP was super reliable. We took that thing everywhere. It never had issues. Um, I don't plan on beating on the Pilot all the time. And this is our daily. This is our vehicle that fits the whole entire family because it seats eight um, and there's six of us. So we need this. I would fit everyone in here, but I can't do that, especially legally or safe. Um, so the Pilot is number one priority to keep on the road. That's why we went through and redid suspension. Uh, I went and put new brake pads on it. Gave it an oil change, new plugs. The coil packs will be in hopefully today or tomorrow. Uh, got new motor mount on it. Uh, I'm going to be redoing the exhaust system. This is needed love for a while, so we're finally giving it the love it deserves. Uh, and it's going to be really sweet. Plus, whenever I go to pass someone on the highway, I'll have that cool supercharger wine 
and it'll be really cool sounding and look cool and you know it's just that cool factor and this thing will be going off-road once we get our property we're gonna have to have something that can actually go off-road so we can drive around the property uh, because we will be living in the country as soon as we can I'm gonna get a light bar up top eventually we're gonna have four light bars all around so whenever we turn it on you'll see everything from all angles but that'll be for the property not for street driving but uh yeah definitely making some progress I figured I'd get this video out for you guys Hope you guys appreciate it um, I appreciate you guys checking in stopping by seeing the progress of the Civic and the pilot and uh, if you guys like these videos please hit the like button share them in social media with your friends your family um, Drop a comment below, let me know what you guys think, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. So until then, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.